Today, let's talk about cloud. This is going to be another legal tech inspired video because I've seen a lot of software at legal tech that claims that they are in the cloud as well as they're in your data center environment. And I want to clarify a little bit difference between um, being in the cloud as just a virtual machine and actually being built for the cloud. We all know our on-prem software or the server software that runs in your data center. You download an installer, you install it on multiple servers, all servers work together to process data or to support a review. A lot of companies that sell that software also claim that their software runs in the cloud. But just because it runs in the cloud on virtual machines doesn't mean it's designed for the cloud with intended use how we were hoping to use the cloud. So what happens in that software is you just create a virtual machine in Microsoft Azure or AWS and you install the software there just like you would in your data center. But one thing people may not be understanding is just because you're going to run that software in the cloud, it's still not going to eliminate all the problems you had. Sure, you're going to eliminate hardware that you no longer require, but you will still have to deal with other problems associated with just VM in the cloud. What problems are those? Well, start with security. You are responsible for securing your own virtual machines. And in fact, being in the cloud, people have this false sense of security that I put it in a secure cloud. But that's how you get all these data leaks is because people create a virtual machine and they think it's secure where it's not. So you will still have to take care of security. It is also your responsibility to do updates. Windows updates, software updates, you will have to take system down for maintenance. Uh, so it's again, it's still on you or on the technical person that you were hoping to eliminate when you went with the cloud. So what's the other type of cloud software I'm talking about? Well, we have Relativity One, Disco, uh, I believe Case Point, and there are others. And that software is specifically written to run in the cloud and expand its resources as needed to take advantage of being in the cloud. So in Relativity One, for example, if you need to have more imaging resources uh, to run the production, it'll automatically scale up, or actually I'm not 100% sure, but it should automatically scale up and take advantage of additional resources needed to handle an imaging job. Same thing with OCR. So the resources can be allocated on the fly as needed, more servers, more agents, and so on. The other thing you have is team of people that is supporting that software. They will take care of setting up the software initially. They will install the security updates. They know what ports need to be open, closed, and so on. And they will also take care of all the updates that are needed. So now you're not only eliminating hardware that was required for that software, you're also eliminating support staff that needed to maintain servers and install updates and so on your software provider takes care of that for you. All right, I hope that clarifies a little bit the difference between software that's built for the cloud and software that can just run in the cloud. There's nothing wrong with buying either one. Uh, both options are fine as long as you understand exactly what you're buying. Anyway, questions, comments, concerns, comment section down below. Talk to you guys later.